Hello everybody and welcome to my showcase of the Magnet Warrior deck that I made. So I did save a couple of replays from playing and the first one I'll show you will be against my friend Quai Fox. Now he was playing um can I not like Uh, it doesn't matter. So, he was playing like this. He was playing an Ignite build with gadgets. Because he does want to make his rank 4 plays. And he found, like, the way he does them is by getting his gadgets onto the field. This is not, like, the best matchup to showcase, like, the true power of the deck. But, here we go. So, I start off with Electromagnetic Field and instantly get out my, um... Alpha. Alpha brings one Berserkion, and at this moment I have two Berserkions in my hand. Now, you might be like, why do you have two Berserkions? Y you'll see. Well, to be honest, you won't actually see anything. But, uh... So, right here, because I have two Berserkions, I do not, like I said, I do not want Valkyrion in my hand at this moment. Just no terrible idea. So, Gamma brings out my other Electromagnet, and then I instantly go into Golo Goliath, to use his effect. So. Wait, what? Alright, oh, yeah, I swapped the thing on accident. So, I use his effect, and then on. That, that was a poor play by me, where I used uh, Instant Fusion to, for Northern, and then I go into Zen Mains. So, this is like an extremely, like. It's a ball that I don't make as often. Because at the, at the time when I, um, this was like the, one of the very first games that I was using the build. So I was like, oh, I'll just make the XCs instead of going for my main monsters. So ideally I want I wanted to use, uh, Go I would want to use Gogo Go Goliath's effect to bring about Alpha. And then Alpha would have, uh, I could have gotten Valkyrion into my hand. Um, and then I would play, uh, I would detach from, I don't know, maybe from Zen mains later and then uh, bring out the northern to bring back that uh, material that I detached so he goes in this is like a gadget ignite it's really really weird so see now I get the polymerization but now I do take the damage with you Zen means effect to then destroy the monster so with the hand he had he it was like it would be like the deck did couldn't keep up and it was really really slow so he does mirror force. I use a uh, Delta's effect to bring out my Valkyrion, and at this stage with Valkyrion, um, I do make my superconductor. So, as you can see in my graveyard, I did have three different um, Electromagnus, and because Delta was sent to the graveyard due to mirror force, I could use this effect to bring out my Valkyrion, and then because I already had polymerization in my hand, I could make a. Uh, I could make a Imperial Magnum. So, you know, at this stage, he surrenders, not much he can do. Oh, damn. What the hell? So, let's see. Oh, this is uh, my FTK. Now, this hand at first might look like it's terrible, but Tazer Berserkion does put in a lot of work, allowing me to bring out my Magnet Warriors, and then two extra Magnet Warriors I can just search. And this is like, ties up the brethren just from a terrible hand. Like you thought, wow, I can't do anything with this hand. Instantly goes to a, wow, this is a really strong hand. I have a lot of options now. Because I can, I've got one polymerization. And I can just set this for bluff. Because they won't know it's Fusion Sage. And even if they destroy it, I already have a polymerization in my hand. So I can always set this for bluff. And then I, I have my Delta. I have a Berserkion in my hand. So instantly, I can uh, banish these to me um, in a later stage. So I bait my opponent by leaving them attack position. So he goes. He's playing a blue eyes deck. Does standard blue eyes thing. So you know, I, I get my vanillas on the field. This is happening in his turn. So he goes into uh, al alternate eyes, and I was re I was okay with alternate eyes using that effect because he can't attack and he destroys 
So right there, I make Diamond Dyer. And the reason for this is because when I make Diamond Dyer, I will be um, targeting himself to destroy my uh, opponent's alternate eyes. And because he had no back row, as you can see, I mean, I didn't know the hand before, but now we can see his hand. He didn't have a lot, I mean, he does have a lot of options because he can summon another um, alternative eyes. But I, I can make, with Delta, I can make superconductive magnum whatever and then negate the effect so i send another delta to the grave banish my vanillas bring a valkyrie on and then use berserkin's effect from the hand to banish the electromagnets and then instantly win In just with with no back row and an empty field i use diamond eye to its full potential and then combo it and instantly go for the FTK. Uh, let's see. So, this is against a different person, but it's still the same idea of the OTK. So, this person was playing Kaiju Artifact. I make Alpha, Ties of the Brethren, bring out my two extra like the Warriors, and I did use the. Um, I did use a trade in to send in Berserkion because with Alpha I can search for another Berserkion, so th this is why trade in is so good. Oops. So he sets three back row. I used the, the effect to bring out my vanillas. I summon Delta to send another Delta and make Valkyrion and Polymerization Valkyrion. Right, so, I use uh, Deltas to make Valkyrion, and then, because I have a uh, Berserkion in my hand, I can always, um, I can always fusion for Magnum. And then, into fusion to Nod, Nod brings out another Delta, and I just make Utopia, Utopia the Lightning, and just end from here. So he does use an effect from the grave, but I instantly banish it. I, uh, I negate that effect with um, Imperion. This is just like the deck at like full power. Th this next replay. So this hand is just monsters, but I can still work with it because I summon Gamma. Gamma brings out Alpha, and then Alpha uses effect to get Berserkion onto the field first turn. Now this was against Cosmos, I believe. No, yeah, this was against Cosmos, my friend um, Dane. So he does Cosmo shenanigan. I have no idea how that deck works, but he did use Berserk. I used Berserkion's effect because he was destroyed by, um, because he was uh, destroyed due to um, an effect. I can bring out my Electromagnets, and then Electromagnets bring out the Vanillas. So again, I have Electromagnets in the grave and Vanillas on the field. So summon Delta Delta uh, gets me Valkyrion. So I didn't. Th this was like just the a, a really like just using the electromagnets, and then obviously my uh, lightning. So I banish. I uh, know I keep saying banish, but I negate Effect Veil's effect from um, the lightning. So he cha he used a Veil on my lightning, and then I negated that effect on, on his Vela. So this is why I really like making the Magnum. Such a good monster. He keeps like me taking me to the main screen. So this is another blue eyes matchup. But this one is where um my opponent makes uh Dark Matter so again ties his brethren play. So you you kind of you can get so even though he uses Book of Moon, I can still use my Electromagnet as a quick effect and just completely like make him waste his Book of Moon. And Book of Moon is limited to one, I think. So right there, nothing he can do because oh look, he don't have Book of Moon anymore. He he does use um the, his like effects and stuff. And right now he clears my field. Okay. Any, um, 
Dakmata's Dragon's Effect makes me banish uh, three cards from my deck. So instantly I choose my Electromagnets because I've got two ways of making Berserkion. Where I've got him in my hand and I can use Alpha. So, you know, he goes for the White Son of the Legend. That's absolutely fine. So, Semi Solemn, Delta, Delta sends Delta, make Valkyrion, and I summon Berserkion, Polymerization, my, um, oh, jeez, what the hell? Never mind. No, that was weird. Uh, so, right here, I have a Valkyrion and a Magnet, and, um, what'd you call him? Magnum Warrior shenanigan guy. I will, so I sacrifice one for one, and then beat him over, be over his uh, blue eyes. So he gets Twin Twister, but uses White Sun Legend. I Solemn Strike it. He can't do anything. Shut him off, and then you know, get Berserk on. So you could see where I was going. I make Alpha, and then. Alpha gets me Berserkion, Fusion Sage Polymerization, Superconductor, easy game. Now, I think this is the last, yes, this is the last um, replay that I have for you guys. And it's against my friend that was playing Cosmos again. So, here I make Zen mains because I didn't have the, the means to get my full combo also Zen mains which is the safest option so he's doing a bunch of Cosmo shenanigans last time he did say he lost because um, he drew to Cosmo town so you know just combos and chains so with magnetic field um, it allows me to bring back another monster now, I did not know that uh, Cosmo Foreign could, me could not be uh, chained. I, I didn't know like it couldn't be targeted by card effects. But it it's still fine because I, I go for my uh, Quantal Mecha Beast. And I just passed. But what you, you're going to see throughout the, the, the duel is that my dragon is going to stay on the field for a long time. So here I just have more plays I can make and bring out my Valkyrian. So I had to make Valkyrian just so I could get over his forerun and then he keeps using Cosmos to bring back different Cosmos. So I made a mistake because I sent my Delta to the grave for two reasons. One, I thought I could use Wind Up Zen Main's effect. This was uh, when I still, uh, it was like my first couple of games. Um, I thought I could use Zen Mains effect to protect Delta, but it's just, it only affects Zen Mains himself. And two, I thought I had enough, uh, enough different Electromagnets to get another Valkyrian onto the field and then possibly overlay into number 38. I don't even think I had 38 because here I have 11, um, 11 cards on my extra deck instead of 14. So Cosmo Town just does a bunch of shenanigans. Oval is into Break Sword. Gets rid of my Valkyrian. <clears throat> now, see, even though I only take 100 damage, he cannot be destroyed except from a normal monster. Duality, Berserkion, Berserkion, Valkyrian. I, I just choose uh, Valkyrian and set one pass. See, like, with Duality, it was so good that I, I got to see that I was going to get three useless cards and it just allows me to sh uh, shuffle my deck. And then I, I go for the trading. It's the only thing I can do. Terraforming magnetic field. Soul charge. I pay 3,000 life points. Because. Um, uh, soul charge. But it just allowed me to like go for those plays. But, but again. Because of. Uh, foreign was just such a big problem for me to deal with. But I knew, like, he couldn't completely destroy me. Because I still have I still had my, uh, Weaving Dragon. And I, I only had 600 life points. But I, I go for the Lightning. And use the Lightning's effect to get over his Cosmo Runner. 
and then use, um, I believe it was Delta's effect. But because I already had Valkyrie, I could still get over his fall run anyways. I set my Levia because I didn't want to lose from him attacking my Levia, so change it to defense since he didn't attack. So, 200 life points. But at this point, it's game because he can't really do much. So, as you can see, the first of the dragons did put in a lot of work, and so did Utopia the Lightning. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this um, replay showcase of what the Magnet Warriors can do, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.